Hi, Bob W9RAN here again. One of the most important specifications for any receiver is its sensitivity. The mark of a good receiver is a high signal to noise ratio, often abbreviated SNR. This is a comparison of the level of a desired signal to the level of background noise, and it's often expressed in decibels. Measuring sensitivity requires the use of a calibrated signal generator of known accuracy. To get good results, you need maybe something better than this, more like this. In the days of analog receivers, it was a pretty straightforward process. You'd connect the signal generator to the antenna input of the receiver, crank the RF gain all the way up to maximize the sensitivity, and then measure the level of audio coming out of the speaker. Now, many SDRs would be measured the same way, but AirSpy requires a little more care because it gives the user unprecedented control over the RF front end and on how signals are displayed on the screen. So in this video, I'll demonstrate how I measured AirSpy's sensitivity and how it compares against industry benchmarks. First, we'll adjust the sensitivity of AirSpy using the AirSpy control panel. Beginning with the IF gain control, as I move the slider to the right, the noise level will start to rise. The proper setting for the IF gain slider is right at the point where the noise floor starts to go up. The mixer gain can probably be left at its default setting for most uses. The low noise amplifier gain can be increased, but again, not past the point where the noise floor starts to go up. The baseline noise floor for an undecimated air spy setting is going to be in the range of minus 80 dB. Do bear in mind that that is relative to full scale or dBFS. The signal generator has been set to 28 megahertz. The output level 50 microvolts or minus 73 dBm. All measurements are being taken in the USB mode with 2.4 kilohertz bandwidth. We can estimate the baseline noise level right around 84 decibels and we can pick off the peak right at 34 dB. This is with no decimation. So I'm now going to increase decimation to times 64 and as you can see the noise level has dropped to an average of 100 dB and the peak is still where it was at minus 34 dB. Relative to full scale we measured the signal peak at minus 34 dB and the noise floor at minus 100 dB, thus giving us a 66 dB signal to noise ratio. We can now correlate these relative measurements back to the actual values in the real world. Remember that the signal generator was putting out 50 microvolts, which is to say minus 73 dBm. We measured 66 dBfs of signal to noise ratio. We can simply add the minus 73 dBm reference to the 66 dB signal to noise ratio to determine that the actual value of the noise floor is minus 139 dBm. I'll leave it to the viewer to determine how these results compare with those from notable laboratories like Robert Sherwood's, the ARRL, Ellicraft, and others. But it's clear that a minus 130 dBm noise floor is a very hot receiver. To try and get some validation of this calculation, I took a couple of spot checks. With a generator set to one half microvolt or minus 113 dBm, the peak on AirSpy measured 30 dB above the noise floor. Lowering it to one quarter of a microvolt or minus 119 dBm, the signal to noise ratio was still 24 dB and at the weakest signal my generator can produce, or a tenth of a microvolt, minus 127 dBm, the air spy speak was still 15 dB above the noise. A weak CW signal at this level still could be copied. Here's a quick look at that one-tenth microvolt signal through a 600 cycle CW filter in SDR Sharp. My conclusions are that the AirSpy receiver is very sensitive. 
that minus 139 dB calculated noise floor is based on lab testing using equipment that I believe to be accurate but has not been through laboratory standards. AirSpy users should learn how to use the decimation control. It gives you great ability to visualize weak signals and optimize the front end and decimation also reduces the size of recordings if you want to do some offline analysis or sharing. And more than anything, get to understand how the SDR Sharp's DBFS measurement system works. Because with AirSpy and the decimation control, you can really see what's going on on the air.